Hello and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode number three. I'm your host, hostess, Amanda. Coinbase reports that BitPay has partnered with point of sale terminal company Ingenico to make Bitcoin an accepted payment option at most of Ingenico's 27 million terminals worldwide in over 170 countries. Merchants who use Ingenico payment terminals will be able to generate Bitcoin QR codes so that their customers can pay with Bitcoins from their smartphones. Cointelegraph reports that the newest global hub for Bitcoin ATMs is actually in a military hot zone of sorts. There are currently over 7,000 Bitcoin ATMs across Ukraine, but a more accurate term for them would be Bitcoin kiosk, as customers can deposit fiat, get a code, and use the code to retrieve their Bitcoins. Compare the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, with its thousands of Bitcoin kiosks, with London, which is also called a Bitcoin hub, but has only about a dozen. Crypto to crypto exchange Shapeshift.io has released what it's calling the Skeleton Tool. This is code that's being offered to website owners who want to let their customers buy and sell different cryptos without having to leave their site. Cryptocurrency enthusiast and Liberty.me founder Jeffrey Tucker has just published a new book called Bit by Bit, How P2P is Freeing the World. The book is available for purchase on Amazon, but it's a free download for members of Liberty.me. It is worth noting that Liberty.me accepts Bitcoin for its $5 monthly membership subscription. TechCrunch reports that MakerArm has just left two years of development and has entered its crowdfunding and pre-sale stage. The device is a robotic arm which can 3D print, plot, mill, do laser engravings, and even assemble electronics. The Maker Arm is expected to cost around $2,200 when it's released, but as a part of the Kickstarter campaign, early pledgers can still reserve a machine for themselves for $1,400. And Vitamin has released a comprehensive rating of the top biometric headphones. Biometric headphones can measure the heart rate, the blood oxygen levels, the vertical oscillation, and even the distance covered for those more sporty among us. An average pair ranges between $150 and $300. And lastly, this poster has been spotted in London and tweeted by Biddylicious. That does it for your daily decrypt today. Download the podcast if you'd rather not look at my face, and remember to subscribe.